my September wrap up. <laughs> Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey, what's up, internet? My name is Thinking. Today I will be doing my September wrap up. So, just a little disclaimer really quickly is that I'm currently really sick so if I sound funny to you it's because I'm currently going through an illness and it's trying to kill me. <coughs> okay so let's do this. Okay so for the month of September wasn't really my great month of reading because I was kind of like in a reading slump after reading a certain book and I didn't really want to read anything I just wasn't in the mood but I ended up reading three books so I think that was really good well I should say I read one book and audiobook two to actually just give me something to actually read my goal for each month is to at least read three books a month and I kind of succeeded so let's do this wrap up so the first book that I finished in the month of September was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by JK Rowling's John Tiffany and Jack Thorne this is the eighth installment for the Harry Potter series it is 19 years after the last book was written or based on I actually really like this I enjoyed it a lot I did a little book talk about it of what I thought or should say review something like that I gave this four out of five stars on Goodreads after finishing this book it kind of put me in a book slump because I was really sad and like this is like the last Harry Potter book all over again and just made me really really sad so I blame this for my book slump but yeah. the next book that I finished in the month of September was Six of Crows by um Lee Bardugo <laughs> I had a brain fart for there for a moment because I'm like, I don't know who wrote this book. Anyhow, so this book is about six people that are kind of like a mixture of between misfits, thieves, and just people who get wrapped into this little heist. And I really enjoyed this book a lot because it was really good. I was kind of surprised of actually getting into this book because I, for one, only picked this book up because of how pretty the cover was. More of the hardback. So, like, if you think the dust jacket is really pretty, like... It's really pretty when you take off the dust jacket this is what it looks like like the spine has the red thing and then it's like solid black all around and I don't know if you can see but there's like a little curl right there and it's oh, amazing and also it's inside the book is so pretty as well because you have like the little maps of um, this wonderful fantasy place and I like books that have maps because usually when the, when um, people make up their own worlds and like that, I like to compare and contrast of how they explain it versus how they see it. And it helped a lot, especially by reading this. But I usually don't go for books that make up their own worlds and stuff. I kind of find them a little boring, especially if they don't have stuff to help me visualize it, I guess. For this book, I was pleasantly surprised because for the first few chapters, I was kind of iffy. But then when we meet Kaz Bricker, I was like... I'm finishing this book. I love him. I adore him. Let's do this. <laughs> so I really did. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really enjoyed this. I will be doing a full-on book review for this later on after I finish the sequel to it, which is Crooked Kingdom. I can't wait to finish that because the ending of it, I'm like, if I was Cass Breaker, uh, yeah. So, whoop. So last but not least, the last book that I read for the month of September was The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter. This is the second book of The Raven Cycle and I did a whole fangirl talk about this and I am like obsessed with The Raven Boys and I liked it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because anything that gets me obsessed, I want to read more, I want to binge read anything, I will give it a 5 out of 5 stars because I personally like it enough to want to read fan fiction of it, go through Tumblr looking for stuff of it, buy merchandise for the Raven Boys so the obsession is real people so I really liked it so this is the second book like I said basically Capes Water is Awakened uh, there's a shift in the relationship between the friends and we also know a certain secret for a certain character and uh, we get some new bad guys who are looking for something called the Grey Warren so it was a really interesting read and it was really fast paced for me this actually got me back into reading again so I was like yes that is it for my September wrap up. It wasn't really a big stack, but then again, I was kind of in like a reading slump. I did audiobook um, Six of Crows and The Dream Thieves because like I said, I wasn't really into reading, but I suggest doing um, both audiobook or both of those books because they were amazing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If not, that's cool. I try to upload Monday, Wednesdays, or Friday. So I catch you later. Love you. Yeah, I think.